Ready to hit a court near you and introduce your family to tennis? Then here's some basics to help get you started playing. Did you know tennis rackets come in different sizes? The best size for you will depend on your age, height, and skill level. There are also different types of tennis balls, which vary according to color. For newer or younger players, the red, orange, and green balls all move slower and bounce lower than a traditional yellow ball. Using appropriately sized equipment when you're starting out helps build confidence and an understanding of the game. We can also adjust the size of our tennis court to help learn the game. Full-sized courts are 78 feet long by 36 feet wide. You can make that smaller by playing in the area from service line to service line, which is 42 feet. And for very young players, we can shrink the court even more. You can do this by using items like chalk or small sticks to create a new baseline within the service box. This helps create a smaller area to practice in to help with controlling the ball. Just be careful to use objects that won't be a safety hazard and make you trip. To recap, slower balls, right-sized rackets, and smaller courts help get you started on the road to success. To learn more about the different sizes of tennis equipment and courts, go to netgeneration.com slash equipment. To get started on the court, let's learn about racket and ball control. Let's begin with an athletic warm-up. Place your racket in your dominant hand. To find your dominant hand, put your racket on the ground and pick it up with the hand that you write with. Now, turn your palm towards the sky. Next, walk while balancing a ball on your racket. You can use a finger if you need help controlling the ball. Once you feel good, you can try to stop in place and keep the ball from dropping, or take it to the next level by hopping on one foot, walking backwards, or even squatting. Now, try these skills with your backhand. Flip your palm down with your knuckles to the sky and try them again. After you're warmed up, let's start with forehand tap-ups. With the racket in your dominant hand, practice balancing the ball for three seconds before dropping and trapping it when it bounces back up. Remember to use your knees to get under the ball. Don't worry if you mess up, it's all about having fun. Next, progress to tossing, then tapping the ball up to eye height, then trapping it. Try it with your backhand too. Remember to point your knuckles to the sky with your palms down. Next, let's do it together. Using a target, alternate tap-ups, trying to hit the target each time. Remember, keep the ball around eye height and try to alternate with your forehand and backhand. Now, let's make a game of it by setting a goal. For example, aim for six consecutive tap-ups with your partner. Don't forget to celebrate when you hit your goal. Once you're having success, progress to hitting over the net. Keep going by making the goal higher or even moving further apart. To recap, to find your forehand, turn your palm up. To find your backhand, turn your palm down. To work on your rally skills, use tap-ups with a partner. And don't forget to set a goal to challenge yourself. Most importantly, have fun out there. To see more fun tennis activities, go to netgeneration.com. <laughs>